Ooh, it's beckoning cat. Come on, beckon some money. No, I don't think I should boss my beckoning cat around. He runs on the power of this lap. Hi. Hi, I'm beckoning cat. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I wanted to add to the um, Stephen Collins Seventh Heaven scandal. Not that I care about Seventh Heaven, um, but the situation where it's coming out that it looks like he may have molested or had inappropriate contact with some victims brings about an interesting topic. And we all struggle to deal with it, but it is the topic of... Two topics. What topic am I going to pick first? Well, here is unhelpful things we say in the name of God. And I am coming about this from a perspective of being mostly in Christian churches, but I tell you it happens in every religion and everything that looks like a religion. So we're talking about the concept of a deity or God and what people can say to you that can totally shut down your system and make you feel weak, powerless, or worse that God and this devil are in this all-out war to get you. The first thing that I find so unhelpful is saying, if you have enough faith, this will happen safely. Um, case in point, when I was pregnant with my son, somebody wanted me to consider home birth. And in my heart, I knew that while that sounded awesome, it was not in my cards and it was not meant for me. So there became a lot of talk of, if you just surrender, if you just give your child up to God, everything will be okay, everything will be safe, and God will reward you with this perfect, epic birth and you'll be able to toot your horn about it, and you'll be able to be healed and have this rocking, wonderful birth experience. Now, I have friends who've had successful home births, but when I went into the energy, I did not feel like it was me. It was for me at this time in my life. And the feeling that... Um, that it was this huge war with faith, that if I had enough faith, not only would my child be born by home birth, but it would be epic, and that my child would be okay. So that was the first unhelpful thing. If you only believe enough, you will be safe. Number two, what was unhelpful is saying, well, you obviously haven't surrendered enough, otherwise you would be able to have birth without C-section. That there is some sort of magical word or magical code that would make it so I could birth. And that idea is that God is punishing you, that you are in disobedience, and so therefore God is... Um, keeping you from something, and I think that that's really unhealthy to consider, um, to put into people's minds. The third thing that I found very um, alarming is if you trust God enough and you trust that this child is God's, you're okay with whatever he does with it. So saying that in, in this example, if I had a home birth and if the child were to die, then that was me completely trusting God on the mountain and whatever happens, happens and blah, blah, blah. Well, I am sorry, but I don't have that kind of faith. I don't have that kind of faith that I can shun the medical community and shun all my options out there and, um, and totally believe that, you know, you know, God took my child for... A reason to increase my faith what what is that like you know I know that's Old Testament stuff but why would God take something from you to increase your faith like 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 as innocent as your child I don't think I hope I hope to God 
that God does not play in those cards because I don't find those cards very nice. So, yeah, that was a lot of um, relig religious backwash. I know my mother was plagued by uh, the Lord helps those who help themselves, and that is not in the Bible. And that is super not helpful because it just made her feel kicked in her soul, and she wasn't able to do anything anyway. So these constant ideas that God is a very bipolar God who will reward you or punish you, and that we need to completely submit and surrender and be um, plugged into whatever Bible program or religious program that they are selling you is detrimental to your own purpose. Sometimes the best thing you can do to increase your faith is to take action. Sometimes the best thing you can do to increase your faith is to let go of the idea of God that you did have or was given to you and operate as if God almost does not exist, but, uh, but with a playful mind. Like we have to divorce this idea of this bipolar angry God because not only are we being controlled by the idea that God is punishing us, but also that the devil is out to get us and we are somehow children of the devil or in league with the devil or he's going to swallow you up. You know, I'm not going to go into the debate of whether God or devil exists because we cannot prove that, hence the word faith. I do think that we have a creator. I do think that there is a duality to everything. But all of these religious ideas sometimes keep us more boxed in. And you notice like televangelists like Joyce Meyer are always selling you. Joel Osteen is always selling you. And sometimes his stuff can be really inspirational. But sometimes it can just be giving you the idea that you can sit there in your cashier job making seven dollars an hour and to not um, rise above not ask for your fair share not get the courage to tell off your boss and leave the situation because it's not godly and if we always live on the terms of what other people say and interpret are god's ways we will never get out of the system and it is a system. And when I went to Joyce Meyer's conference a couple years ago, I can honestly say, <clears throat> with all due respect to Joyce Meyer, that was one of the last places I felt God at all. I saw a lot of broken people enthusiastically taking notes. I think you could kind of stereotype them as being <sighs> lower middle class or less probably peddling all the same type of jobs, just have their bindle full of dreams, and the messages that are recycled are, you know, don't give up, give it to God, Some, support our ministry. When you support our ministry, you support Jesus. And always this feeling that if things were not going right in your life, you weren't surrendering enough, you were... Uh, had some unresolved sin, yada, yada, yada. So what I'm saying is that there are a lot of unhelpful ideas in the religious community. There is a reason why there are so many atheists out there. There's a reason why so many people are jaded by churches. And why? Because people are out there getting killed, okay? People are out there living their life hand to mouth and not confronting what is keeping them there because they think God will be mad if we drop an F-bomb about the situation. So I do believe that our Creator, if He is kind, creates a warrior within us, a warrior that is not petty, and a warrior who um, will not be sent to hell just because we rose above the system, just because we rebelled against old ideas, ideas within ourselves. Do not be stopped by anything. And if anyone uses the threat of God against you, you just take it off.
let it go. Do not become entrapped by that. Be willing to face whoever God is with all your heart. Because I believe that God is in everything and God is in all creation and God is within inside ourselves. And I think that we've been led to believe that this God or creator thing was outside of us and that we had to pay a certain price or say a certain thing or buy a certain t-shirt to get there. And I think that it has been held with it against us, the truth that creation is in everything inside ourselves. The power is within inside us and we don't need to pray to the outside. And by the way, don't jump on me. You know, I still have a worship of Jesus. I still have a worship and a relationship with Creator, God, Universe, but it is undefined and I am breaking myself from those cycles. And lastly, I remember living for a short time with a fundamentalist um, when I was 16 and he was getting a little bit gropey and I told the biblical therapist that I was seeing what had happened and she said, and I quote, so-and-so is a good man of God. He gives us $500 a month. That is the illusion we have to shatter. The illusion that anyone is more godly than anyone else. 